Hi everybody, this is Tithi Readings and this reading is going to be for Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what messages come up for you, Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what do we have for you. Oh, damn. Okay. Do check out the link in the description box, which will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking and feeling about you? Their next moves towards you. Outcome of the situation between the two of you. Advice, oracle messages, love notes, messages from spirit for you. Um, and much more. So do check it out. I'll be linking it below. Okay. Okay, we have the Page of Wands energy. Absolutely beautiful. This is what... Oh, damn. Can I just stop moving? Okay. This is what came up for you. Um, Very beautiful energy, of course. This is something new, something very passionate, possibly, and something very exciting. Okay. We'll see, though. The Sun card wanted to come out. With the wheel of fortune right underneath that and the lovers right after that and the ace of wands right after that i'm going to take these cards i'm going to clarify these uh but i'm going to take all of them okay now let's see page of pentacles page of wands Ooh. i'm going to tell you one thing here is that you need to be careful with who you trust who you put your time and energy into because there could be some sort of a betrayal here um absolutely beautiful i see you succeeding i see you flourishing i really felt the need to say the word flourishing so i see something um working out for you i see some sort of a new venture here i see some sort of a new beginning aquarius i'm loving this reading um but again i'm gonna warn you that i see money coming in and then i see money leaving you as well so which means you could be spending a lot of money now, I am seeing that there's a new, um, there's something new in the energy for you. I'm also seeing a lot of communication coming in for you, by the way. And I'm seeing, why do I keep seeing different people here? So there, for some of you, this could be about, you know, different people that you're connecting with. But I am definitely seeing that this is about, why do I keep seeing this about more than one person? But we will see. Strength and the Ten of Swords. I think in the past, you already decided that you were not going to be a part of something. And you made the right decision. Let me tell you that. You made a very, very right decision. Okay. Because I feel like now it's time for you to leave those energies behind that tend to drain you. Okay. time to leave it behind now um we do have the five of swords the two of pentacles queen of swords six of pentacles judgment energy again this talks about um forward movement this talks about some sort of a decision being made here and why are they honking can you please stop thank you um wow I feel like you are being pushed to make a decision. You are being pushed towards something new. Um, at the same time, I feel like there was somebody in the past you dealt with where you felt like you were being taken advantage of. You felt like you were the one showing up constantly, constantly, constantly. And the other person maybe wasn't. Um, there was definitely some sort of a game playing energy. But I feel like there's a little bit of deception on your part as well, Aquarius, which is you are deceiving yourself when it comes to something um, by the looks of it, um, you know the truth about it, but you are choosing not to believe in that, perhaps. Um, and again, I'm seeing that there's a little bit of that. There's a little bit of that energy of, I know I can do better, but let me just still do what I'm not supposed to do. 
So until you stop doing that, how can these energies unfold for you? You are being called to make a big decision here. And I feel like there's something big on the horizon for you, especially with the Four of uh, Wands energy. I feel like some of you will be able to purchase a home if that is something on your mind. But again, if you keep spending your money, how will you do that? I'm also seeing that with the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Wands, there is somebody coming towards you. But I'm also seeing that this may not um, look how it seems. How it seems. This may not exactly be what you think it is, you know. Because I feel like apparently there is somebody coming in towards you. Um, and they're seeming very passionate. They're seeming this. They're seeming that. But you already have trust issues with this person. And I feel like at this time, you're trying to make up your mind to release your past patterns and focus on something new. Now, there is something new on the horizon for you. Definitely Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands talks about new passions, new beginnings. And with the Wheel of Fortune, this is a big change, the lover's energy. There's a decision being made here about love. Okay, and I see some sort of a union here for you. Um, these are all the underlying energies, something that you don't see coming in your life. Um, at this time, I feel like you're dealing with all of this energy here where you're focused on your inner strength. You're focused on trying to get yourself to a better place financially, emotionally and stuff. But again, be careful of who you trust at this time, Aquarius. Um, now, let's clarify these energies for you because I'm, I'm, I'm really loving this row here. Okay, tell me more about this sun card. With the wheel of fortune the ace of wands and the lovers there is something very balanced there's something very great with the four of wands and the lovers this is stability actually some of you may find somebody new and things there's a huge possibility of things turning out great with this person we have king of pentacles and the emperor energy so your money is looking really good. I see you taking control and I see a lot of masculine energy coming in your life. Um, now, if you're a female watching this, um, you know, you could be meeting your divine counterpart. If you're a male watching this, masculine energy means there's somebody actively coming in to pursue you kind of an energy. So, wow, I'm seeing you taking control back of your life and I'm also seeing you flourishing, like I said. Um, wow, especially when it comes to your business absolutely beautiful there's a sense of victory in that as well wheel of fortune clarified by the fool a new beginning that is the changed aspect of this reading there's a new beginning waiting for you uh, maybe it's time for you to leave the past in the past because i feel like you do have a hard time releasing the past situation because of your ifs buts whens hows um it would be better if you again get yourself out of that energy and focus on um Focus on what's right in front of you, actually. Absolutely beautiful. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like there's somebody um, coming in towards you uh, with a lot of passion. You know what? They're giving me a phrase. Passion is your answer. Doubt is not your answer. So if there's something you're doubting, you have to take action towards something here. Now, Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers, a brand new opportunity in love. Okay, a choice being made here about love. And I feel like this is also a brand new opportunity um, of, um, you know, something related to money and growth. Okay. But I feel like it's all on the other side which means you're on this side and it's all on the other side, which also means that there has to be a shift in your energy. There has to be a shift in your perspective. Are you willing to go and explore what's out there for you? Are you willing to go and explore what can be the possible outcome here? You know, are you willing to explore this energy? Because if you are, then, oh my goodness, this is leading to something amazing for you, okay? But again, you, you are stuck in this Two of Pentacles, Five of Swords energy, which is self-deceiving, A, and B, it's confusing yourself, okay? Don't do that. I feel like you tend to make up your mind about something and then you're like, oh, but this seems like a better possibility as well. So let me go do that and I'll be back. And then, you know, th there's a little back and forth in your energy 
one day you're wanting something, the next you're wanting to explore something else. The more you keep your energy focused on something, especially when it comes to your money related goal. I see you, I'm telling you Aquarius, things are changing drastically for you, especially when it comes to your money. Yes, it is about love. And in love, I'm seeing strongly a past person showing up for you. But I'm also seeing that there is a possibility of something stable with a new person. Okay. I love this uh, reading because it's talking about perseverance. It's also talking about something grand and big on the other side of things. Okay. Let's see. We have Leo energy, strong hair. We have Aries. We have uh, Gemini, Libra, Virgo, Taurus. Okay. What do we have for Aquarius? Do check out the link in the description box, Aquarius, which will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves towards you. Outcome of the situation between the two of you, advice or messages, love notes, and guidance from spirit. So do check it out. I'll be linking it below. Now let's see. We have very soon, and then we have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner. You see, clearly decide what you want. Again, clearly decide what you want. Is it something new that you're hoping for, or is it wanting to reconcile with a past person? Because I feel like at this time, true love at the bottom of the deck. At this time, you're able to attract whatever it is that you're desiring. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see. What do we have for Aquarius? Do check out the extended version of this linked down below in the description box. We have mending and chaos and conflict with the number 33 and number 52 separately. We have number 5, 3, and 2. Those could be significant. Number 33, again, is a, you know, it's a synchronicity here. 3, 3. Um, things are being shaken up. This is giving me that tower moment vibes, but it's a good vibe here. You know, you're being shaken up to move towards something new. Mending. You know what? Well, I'm seeing it as somebody wanting to clear the air with you, higher power. Surrender to the higher power and believe in your own ability as well to attract things. There's a lot that you have to surrender and there's a lot that you have to be willing to take um, that leap of faith towards. I'm definitely seeing it's a beautiful change, not something to be scared of. Again, Wheel of Fortune, the Fool, this is something new. This is something drastic, okay? I've got eyeshadow on my hands. I put my hand on my lid and I've got eyeshadows on my hand. Eyeshadow on my hands, okay. Fantastic. Um, so, that's it. Those were the messages that popped out for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed these new energies coming up for you. If you did, do give this video a like as a way to show me that you appreciate it um and you would like for these things to happen in your life you can also check out the extended version if you like in the description box it will be linked as well as your 2021 forecast take care of yourself aquarius and bye bye, bye.